Hey guys, it's John from John's DIY Playground. Today I want to cover this um, device that's going to be used for a home sleep study that I'm going to be taking. And I want to show you the components inside in case you're curious what it's like for a home study in 2019. So I picked this uh, gear up today and was shown how to use it. So um, hopefully I can remember that, which is only a few hours from now when I go to bed. This is going to be a one day um, sleep study, so just one night. And I have to wear it through the majority of the night, hopefully. Um, you'll see why it could be an issue, but we'll see. So it's pretty easy to figure out the kit. Um, the only thing that doesn't fit in the bag is the first thing and the number one here. And that's this, um, the controller itself. And you can see it's actually, there's a green light on it. It's already been uh, programmed by the tech at the place that I picked it up and they put the batteries in and so it actually knows what the current time is but it's only going to record during the hours of 11 p.m. and 8 a.m. so um, if I'm trying to sleep before then it won't record so you can see there's a bunch of inputs here for the wires that I'll be showing you shortly um, the backs just got the where the battery holder is and uh, it's pretty lightweight and this is what it's actually is going to be worn on my body during the sleep study so i won't have anything to plug into a wall completely battery operated a um, couple connections here that i'll show you with the other components in a moment this device itself when it goes in this bag it's supposed to fit around your chest area um, slightly below the chest line because we have other straps that i'll show you here so I'm looking for bag number two, as you might imagine, bag number two. So this is the chest strap and in the chest strap, um, it goes a little higher than your device. It's pretty simple. It's got Velcro on it and it has a couple of snaps here where you snap the sensor. I don't want to spread all these things around and forget which one is which, but um, you can see here, this is the device itself that goes on the chest and these are the two wires that go on the straps and then this color coded blue here goes into the blue color coded piece that I just showed you on the controller a few moments ago so that's the chest monitor and then we've got in lucky bag number three that's five four three bag number three we have the abdomen belt and this goes just around the belly button area they told me and so it's a very similar to the chest one it has a velcro type of strap that's going to go around your body and then it has a couple of snaps you can see this one's already been snapped on uh, but two snaps there and then this one has a yellow color coded connector that will go on to the central control device that's recording all this data hopefully Okay, and then next up in bag number four, we have, this is the, I call it the canula. It's like a nose thing. So you put it around your nose, um, has two little tubes. One goes in each nostril and you kind of wrap it around your ears. So it uh, has some strain relief. And then you actually use some tape, two pieces of tape on either side of your nose. Um, I don't know how well this will show up on the video, but um, yeah, so this thing, it doesn't have a, um, I'm sorry, it does have a green, there's two elements of this thing, I guess. It has a green connector, um, and then it also has this, the canula thing with, that goes in your nose. It's going to screw into the top of the device, so it's uh, just like a quarter turn or a half turn, but it threads into the top here where you see that white, um, and that's how the bag number four works. And then last but not least, they want to measure your blood oxygen while you're sleeping. So that brings us to bag number five. And bag number five is a simple device that goes on your finger. Um, it's actually pretty robust. It does come with a roll of tape, so you can, like, they recommend taping the wire for some strain relief when you're actually trying to use it. But um, it has this electronic end that goes into the, the main controller. And then your finger just goes in like this. You push it in all the way so you can see your finger protrude through a little bit and then you can wrap a tape around there. 
keep it on your finger and then you know hook it into the device there so you're completely uh you know nothing tied to a nightstand or anything else you can get up and walk around if you had to um, go to the bathroom grab a bite to eat if you're a nighttime middle of the night snacker or whatever but that's basically it so i will take this test and tomorrow morning i will bring the device and all this stuff back to them at the hospital and then they need a couple weeks to analyze um, how many apnea events there were and whether or not I would need a CPAP machine and uh, how severe the symptoms are. So I'll be following up for this uh, video if you guys are interested just leave me some comments below. I read all the comments and I will respond um, and that's about it. This is John from John's DIY Playground. Have a great day.